to my home. I'm finally here.
and uh, where's the moon? Uh, it's behind that. It's behind. Behind that building. It's a wrap party. It's a wrap of the festival. That's the whole thing. Last day today. Exactly. How you feel? And the Venera. I feel I feel really good, but I also feel really sad that it's over. But I feel really good because it was great. bikes in this country? Unbelievable. I can barely stand. Barely. It's raining today. Two new friends. I don't know what your name is. Can you tell me? I'm Mo. I'm Mo.
45%. Jonathan from Canada. Canada. This is Melissa from the States. From the States. Caleb from Canada as well. Cool. I've got Denise from Malta. Woo way! Take your glasses off. <laughs> I got a waiter from Italy. Italy. And cool. Alex from Malta. Right. Oh my goodness. Everybody. Who do you like on YouTube now? 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 Who do I'm feeling great so far. Cheers. Cheers. How do you feel about today? <laughs> she yeah. like one. It's my turn. Yeah. The t-shirt for free and I just had to drink beer for it. Yeah. 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 I think a really important aspect to discuss is it's very noticeable and, and the music and sound should be uh, invisible to the ear. Here we created a story of this female student that goes to Thailand and then something goes very wrong and when she comes back um, there's something that she brought back had a big like, uh, impression on her life and everything went down from there on and um, only armed with very little equipment, one Sony FS700, one KinoFlow, one LED, and a couple of SD cards. And um, <coughs> me and the lead actress Esther, we went to Thailand. Right, right now, I'm kind of in a more, very critical moment of the film industry. And um, like, I've been jaded, I've been uh, without motivation, because it's, it's kind of hard, you know, every, we, we know, you know that's hard, there's no money, you have to be begging things to everybody. If, when the film is done, you have to beg people to watch the movie. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard, so I've been thinking what I want, what I, I want to be. So, but film festival like, like this one, there is no pretense, like, it's not commercial pretension, you know. You are here just to celebrate art and change ideas and be solidary like i'm totally with you with uh, um donna and the, uh, oh i love it your project so you, you come here and you get inspired and you say oh you know i think i can try it one more time yeah. you know <laughs> it's, it's like an addiction sabe? you are like in, in your sober moment but you get a little excited because you you see your move now I want to do a one million budget dollars movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am also seduced by yours. That uh, I think it was very, very, very low budget. As you said, that you just have your camera. Let's do it, and you can create stories. And uh, but it's, it is it is fun. It has been a, a, a nice ride. And um, you 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 as uh, as a Brazilian, I know I have no sense of direction, but. Uh, I, I always dreamed to be an artist, you know, but uh, Brazil is kind of hard, difficult, that I thought, until I moved to the U.S., and they see that to be an artist in the U.S. is not easy at all, so I, now I'm living in the Netherlands, I see that it's not easy either, so it, it's difficult, so we have this kind of false hopes or false dreams that is going to be easier if you move to another country or to see, no. It is, it is hard, but it's very real world as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, and again, trying to bring uh, this awareness that we need to be a little bit more mindful of how we treat animals and yeah. how we, our actions affect them. So 
so you will keep going uh, to aware people about uh, stuff that is important to know. Yeah. 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 Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, it's all also will be documentary. It will be. It's a documentary series. Yeah. So this, the animal one, will also be a documentary. So I'll be interviewing a bunch of people who do mm -hmm. this for a living. Uh, and um, yeah, so it won't be like a film. Sort of. I think I'll just be showing it on my website. That's that's my new way to disseminate what I do as a researcher, right? And uh, from the last festival, I met these wonderful, creative, and talent people who did give me a lot of inspiration to do this. And they, I invite them to be on board, and they say yes. But they're lucky. <laughs> they would say you no for this. <laughs> I would like to be spread the world a little bit more because what I talk about, what to mean to be human being in this world, and how wonderful the diversity as a culture we are, and we should be valued that more. So that's what I try to do. I mean, I only did the music at the beginning, um, and his, his amazing music is at the end, so it's a collaboration yeah. between the two of us. Right. And we've only just met now. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I was sending her my music from New Zealand and um, I'm Norwich, she in New Zealand and Paul with here, right? He's from here, so <laughs> it's like this international collaboration. Two roles, you stand each other um, face to face and it's incredible. And have this. you ever wanted to go back in time and tell yourself something? And yeah. Don't do that, yeah. don't say that. So I thought it was really nuanced <laughs> with you from the, the, telling you how to do the uh, what, what is that thing called where you go through time? Is, there, is that ingenium? What is the... No, yeah, ingenium is a, it's a gift, yeah. Okay, it's, so... It's, it's when you for an extraordinary gift. gift. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so mm -hmm. when you have knowledge of something and your other character doesn't, I thought you did a really good job with those nuances. Because when you know something, your eyes were different than the per than when you were like, how do I do this? So I thought you did a really good job <laughs> with playing different time periods of yourself. So, good, good awesome job. We have very complex cultures, and my mom's from northern part of China, and my dad from southern, and they already have so much things and doesn't is not in common. And then I live in China, grew up in the urban city for 15 years, and then moved to New Zealand for another 15 years. So to me, it's very difficult to find. It's identity crisis always take for us definitely. It's hard to fit into any cultures basically. I think my going go in film, but the thing I really want to make. But also to um, express those emotions that people don't normally tell or, but that's, they're always there. With this one, it's very interesting. I had the inspiration from doing yoga pose, and I had the child pose, and I looked back, and I said, that, the triangle you form with the, with, with the legs and um, the outside world are very interesting. In reality, but it's from your own eyes. It seems through your own body. Usually I feel like, with this kind of story, it's not something you would bring up on a dining table, on a lunch ketchup, or any kind of things. It's just deeply down there somewhere. But um, it definitely affects you. I don't know what I'm trying to make a point for, from any of the picture here, but I just want us to feel with the flow, with the, with, with the images, I guess. I, I thought it was probably unintentional, but just so you know, anybody who's got an understanding of art in that way, um, that opening scene, when you see the girl, um, the, the painting Christine's world, you see her back, and she's on a field that looks very similar. But the story behind the painting is that um, the girl is deaf. And what you're seeing is this incredible world, and you never see her face, but she's locked inside herself. So if anybody else notices that, that's an added meaning that is is a little bit of serendipity, which is the happy accident, mm -hmm. but it's a perfect analogy mm -hmm. for wow. this wow. and for me too, that it's this girl who's completely isolated within herself. But you should look at the image. It's, it's remarkable. I will.